Hello and welcome to AI Fundamental section of the AI ML Bootcamp. In this module, we will review LLM transformer model and how the transformer model generates output. Here is an architecture diagram for transformer model. Some popular LLM models that follow the transformer architecture are GPT-3 from OpenAI, BART from Google, and Llama from Meta, the parent organization of Facebook. Transformer models are very complex. However, in this video, I'll break down the different components of the model in easy to understand format. Let's get started. Transformer models are used to understand and generate human-like text. It can also be used to translate sentence, maybe from English to French, like like you have written, how are you? And you want to translate that to French, like Como ça va? And you saw chat GPT can easily do that. Or maybe you have given a paragraph and you want a text summary. Or maybe you have written one line and you want to continue in the same format and complete the paragraph. So this kind of task can be easily done using a transformer model. In terms of example, we already talked about ChatGPT. ChatGPT full form is Chat Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. And Googlebot is another one transformer model which used in language translation. The one capability that outlined these transformer models that they are able to process a full sentence instead of processing word by word. And that is why they are so powerful. Let's say we have the text, the cat sat on the mat and we want to feed this text and maybe we want a translation from English to French or maybe we want a summary of this. Now let's see how the translator model will work. The first step is input processing. In this input processing, transformer will take the text data and it will break down into smaller pieces or smaller fragment, it's called token. So once the input processing layer worked, we'll get a bunch of tokens and you can see the cat sat on the mat, the sentence broken into small fragments like the cat sat on the mat. These are all individual tokens. The next step is input embedding. Each token will be converted into a numerical representation or vector that will capture the meaning. Now, let's assume that cat will become 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. These are just numerical representation if we want to represent in a two-dimensional graph. However, the input embedding will be multidimensional. But as I mentioned, I am trying to explain with the help of simple example. After the input embedding, next step is self-attention or attention mechanism. And this is the core of the transformer model. It will help the model to focus on the different parts of the input text to understand the context and the relationship between the words. In our example, the model looks a sentence and it will decide which words are important. From the sentence, the cat sat on the mat, it might focus on cat and mat to understand the main idea because cat and mat, these are the two main idea that it might find in the attention mechanism phase. The next part is layers of processing. That model has several layers and each layer refines the understanding. The first layer, it might understand that cat is an animal. And the next layer, it might understand that sat is an action. So it will try to understand what is the verb, what is the noun, what is the action versus what is the object. It will try to understand and it has multiple layer. That is why the feed forward will come into picture. So layer one, it will process. Then it will pass that information for the next layer to process. And as I mentioned, it will have multiple layers to process that entire request. And the final step is output generation. If we requested to create a translation, then the output layer will generate the translation of the input text. 
if we have requested to create a summary it will create summary and if we request to continue the sentence it will also do so that wraps up this module i hope this session helped you gain a deeper understanding and brought you one step closer to your learning goals thank you very much for watching and learning with us at cloud expert solution if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more update and feel free to drop any question or feedback in the comments we would love to hear from you see you in the next module